We are confirmed. Volkswagen Jetta, four door, gray in color. AUZ387. License plate number. Unfortunately, as the search effort grows larger, the progress has remained the same. There have been no leads. So police hope you'll take a good look at his pictures. Could make the difference in finding him. He was last seen here at a party in rural Hampton on September 15th. Police have found no evidence suggesting what happened after that. We were here last month looking for Ethan and his Volkswagen Jetta. This time, one of our viewers reached out to us after seeing that video on October 2nd and said, Jared, Sam, we think that you missed something. And on that tip, we came back a month later and yesterday we found Ethan. Today they pulled him out of the water. This is one episode you're not going to want to miss. On episode number one, we checked out a bunch of ponds and we checked out what, where we thought the party was actually at mm -hmm. the night that Ethan went missing. I've received some new information that the party was not at the quarry one with the gravel pit, that the party was actually at this one next to Joe's. Come to find out, Joe does not own this property. So we need to track Joe down. So Joe is always at Hardy's at 10.30. Oh, it's locked. So I don't think the Bob's coming to uh, Joe. Hardy's. Joe. So let's go find Bob. It's Joe, not Bob. Oh yeah, we are looking for Joe. We're looking for Joe Pitzer, who owns the ponds. Now we're gonna go look for Bob, the police chief, okay. and get information from him as to access to that property by chance. Okay. All right. So excluding. Hey, here we Picture go. Ethan right there. They are looking for Ethan. Oh, hi. How are you? Is Bob available? Yeah. Hey Bob, how are you? Good, what's going on? Good, hey, we're back in town. To, uh, we received some new tips and information. We received information that the party was not at the gravel pit where on 190, 190th and Olive. Right. That it was actually back behind the railroad tracks. Let me see. Yep, that is correct. Okay, so we didn't, we that, uh, that one has been sonared twice okay and also dived by uh, the uh, team from story city okay so i know that there was a farmer that used that gate in order to get the stuff back there that he oh i'm sorry hey, must no, have rented or whatever okay all right we'll uh continue to check down that access into there yeah sir thank you for your time yep and uh you bet. wish us luck not a problem right? Start knocking on doors. Somebody knows something about somebody about who's leasing that land. We're in a small community. Somebody's gonna know. See, even when your neighbor is 150 uh, acres away, you still know who your neighbors are. Hey, it's Jared Lysak. Uh, I'm out of Oregon, and we're a specialty dive and recovery team in town working the case of Ethan. And uh, it's just, uh, I understand that you're the owner of the property where the pond is out back. Uh, we've already searched Joe's property and Kevin's and the uh, rock quarry, seeing if we can gain access onto your property today, today by chance. Yeah, as far as that access goes, yeah, we weren't aware of anything was going on. So, yeah, no so worries. This is kind of a, this is kind of a surprise. Um, yeah. Uh, I, I I know I I mean we can get around the gate. I just didn't want to go around your oh, gate. Okay. It, so yeah, yeah. if you're okay, fine, yeah, if you're okay oh, yeah, with me yeah, yeah. accessing no, no, the property. We've, over, we've given the sheriff's department all that. Uh, the gate, yeah, there's just a uh, chain on the gate. Yep. It's, okay, perfect. David, I appreciate your time today. All right. All right. Thank you. I mean, I'm a little, like, I can get us down there, right here, uh, maybe. Like, we can get out, we can get into there. I don't know if we're ever getting out of there. 
In, yes, out. Mm, yeah, I don't know. All right, well, here we go. Hang on. We're going quick. Don't tip over, don't tip over, don't tip over. We're in. There's two ponds here. There's the one on the other side that shows property. And then this pond here, which is where the party was actually at. So the uh, property owner said head on down to the south side. They said there's a good place to turn around down by the gravel pit and put in. So you see we're shooting 34 feet to the left. 34 feet to the right and the water column is the depth that we're at so if you see like eight and a half feet and then it's eight and a half feet seven feet see it see how it goes up and down so the bottom where it's just now going off screen that was about 12 feet there okay so that's how you read it and then on the bottom see how it goes 8 16 24 34 those are you know kind of our range scales so a car is going to be you know, 12 to 14 feet or so, and so it's going to be very well, it's going to be very noticeable if there is a car down here. You'll be able to see it pop up on the down imaging, and you'll see it on the side imaging. where one of our viewers said focus on this spot right here because they saw something on the floor and it wasn't that far out so it's about right where the boat is at about 30 to 40 feet out and I'll show you as we come across it but there's nothing over there and, and I could kind of agree with him when he showed me the Google image but it could have just been like the way a shadow was in here or something whoa 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 where's that Oh man, what, holy smokes. That's, it yeah. looks, looks, I mean. Off to my left. Uh-huh. So we're gonna go back over this way. And we want a good down image over the top of it. Okay. Sam. Yeah. That's a car. Oh, <laughs> oh crap. Hold that. My heart right now. Is your heart racing? Wow, that's a car. You're choking up. I'm yeah. choking up. Yeah, that's a car. All right, let's park, let's uh, let's drop the magnet and park. Yeah. That's a car. Yes. Right off, right there. In fact, throw it fast because we're, we're drifting, so go right right in front of you right now. Right the car is 100% a car. Where? Yeah, right there. Yep, right, right there. there. Yep. Right. Get a lock. Are you on it? Feels like it. Okay. This right here is real right now. That right there on screen. That is. Real. If you want to know why we do this, is because today a family is going to have answers. Yep. Love you, bro. Thanks. As clear as this water is, I think we'll be able to look in the windows and just see right in. Yeah. Oh, there is. Shooting up right now. Okay. To put the uh, to put eyes on it. Work. Here, I'll, I'll go now. Yes, I talked to Sheriff Dodd. Uh, oh, uh, a little bit ago um, about some uh, guys diving on the sand pit and. Uh, so that's the uh, landowner, and he is uh, spoke with the sheriff this morning, and so he's calling to let the uh, sheriff know that we have located a vehicle underwater, 
And so we're going to uh, go put eyes on it and go from there. All right, brother. So Sam, you're not joining me because your uh, hose ended up busting, so. Do you remember what type of vehicle he was in? Jetta. Jetta? Volkswagen Jetta. All right. up on the passenger or on the passenger side four door Volkswagen gray in color matching Ethan's car identity coming around the rear right now Volkswagen, license plate. Cannot read the tag. Can we see? Ending in AUZ387. AUZ387. Doors are and the windows are up. I'm leaving them up. We're not popping any. Leaving them up. AUZ 387. are confirmed. Alright, let's head on up. We are confirmed. Volkswagen Jetta, four door, gray in color, AUZ387. That's license good. plate number. All the windows are up. I'm not opening doors. I'm not popping windows. Okay. Pull it as is, sitting upright. Yeah, this is just like we saw on Sonar. Yep. Work with the sheriff when they get here and see what they need. Oh my gosh. Hey, it's uh, Jared Lysak, how are you? Good, how are you? Hey, good. Hey, I've got uh, Ethan's car. Okay. Uh, can you, you're able to dive on it and identify it and see that it is the right make and everything? That is correct. I have a, uh, a license plate match for you as well. Perfect, okay. And then you guys are on the property now. It's yeah. still at the bottom of the pond, correct? That is correct. Uh, this is now a crime scene. We're turning it over to you and we'll offer up whatever services yep. you need from us. So, okay, so yeah, if you could stand by there and then I'll need some details and stuff, so. Okay. Um, appreciate it. Thank yep. you, we'll, we'll be out there in a minute. All right, Thank sounds you. good, thanks. Bye. I don't know how long ago they were out here diving, the technology they were using. Um, you know, we just happened to hit it at the right, you know, at the right angle. So, you know, at no point, you know, please don't bash whatever dive team was here before, whatever sonar team was here before. This sonar is a very tricky, tricky thing. And you could be over a spot, you know, three, four, five times and not pick up on it just right. So we just happen to be hitting it just right this time around. 
I feel like for where it was, we may have, could have seen it the first time around mm -hmm. if we were at the right angle. But because of that second pass and then the 360 that we put yep. on there, we were able to get a solid lock on it. Yep. So anyway, let's, uh, you know, whatever support we can give to, you know, the sheriff, we're here to do that. Sarah, how are you? How are you? Good. Yeah. With that, well, appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you for the due diligence. Absolutely. So, uh, that'd be great. Really, it's all of our viewers we have to thank. You know, they told us that we were on the wrong property in the wrong pond the first time we came. So, right. That's what brought us back. Yeah, no, that's good. Um, and do you guys have your recovery bags and stuff as well? We will, but you have a nice smooth bottom. So, okay. I mean, I would prefer that we just drag it out of here. Perfect. It's okay. the best thing to that's do on this sitting one. real nice. Just two J-hugs okay. comes right up. So, in you fact, guys we'll, we'll show we'll, me the area real quick? And yeah. So, we're out about a hundred or 80 to 100 feet is where we're at right now. The vehicle is sitting, so the magnet and everything is, is on this side of it. Okay. And so, when I, when I got to the vehicle, um, I came up on this side, identified at the front wheel, front wheel. that it's a, a Volkswagen, mm -hmm. came around, identified both the windows are up, came around the back, identified the plate, yep. I want to say it was AUZ357, yep, that's correct. Um, so I, I brushed that off, came around the driver's side, identified both of those windows are also up, did not try the doors, did not pop anything, so we're leaving sure. it as is. And so we have a lot of, so we have all the rigging stuff, so we mm -hmm. just need your tow truck down here, we'll yep. get everything that he needs rigged, sure. pre-rigged and ready for him. Yep. It's a fairly flat, uh, sandy bottom. Well, if, uh, if you're fine with it, we'll uh, go ahead and suit up and pre-rig it for you right now. Yep, absolutely. Keep things moving. Yep, and then you can, like I said, with your wire, you can have cables and stuff ready to go. Yeah, yeah, we have a big recovery cable, so we'll get all this set up right now for you. All right, very good. All right, Appreciate should, it. Yeah, it should take us about 30 minutes. We'll have everything ready for you. We just had a uh, nice big conversation with the sheriff as well as the chief. Where we're at right now is because it's not been ruled an accident or a, or a you know foul play. For that reason, they want to make sure they do everything by the book. You know, do they need to bring in their own team to document it? So that way, if there's any subpoenas, you know, this is a bigger than yeah. just an accident that they don't want to have to bring us back in from you know Oregon to Washington and have to be under subpoena. So completely understandable. Uh, sometimes things are not always as simple as just a hook and book, is what we like to call it. You know, we could already have this out as you guys know. However, you know, there are certain protocols that take place. Yep. Sheriff and Chief have been really amazing yeah, on this one. Great guys. Yeah, they, they do great. want to involve us as much as possible, but they do have to, you know, answer the attorney general and other people. So they are going to their superiors and that's where we're at right now on the, on, the, on this process. So we're gonna leave a guy here. We're gonna go um, speak to his family real quick and just okay. kind of give him a, just update that the car is here. And, okay. Right. And we'll be right back. Yeah, we'll so, be, we'll be all right. All right. So that way she doesn't hear it from other sources. Absolutely. Just heard it from us. So. Absolutely. Yeah. And, and, and we're not said, diving yet? Not yet. Good right. Thank, Thank you. you. Yes, sir. All right. Sounds like uh, nine o'clock tomorrow morning. Okay. What are you guys planning on staying? If you're fine with it, we're just gonna camp, camp out here and not even move. Um, that wouldn't be my choice because I'm gonna have to have somebody kind of stand by all night. Right. Um, it wouldn't be. It certainly. I mean, if I'd, I'd like it if you could go somewhere else, you know, but yeah. that's okay. Yeah. So, no. If you need to just pull off, yeah, we just ask that he let us back in tomorrow. Yep, we'll if figure we can that out. Roll back in around eight. If you're fine with that. Um, yeah. Well, like I said, it won't be till nine. So nine we'll, there we're doing. Yeah. Yeah. And so if you wanna. All right. Yeah. We'll uh, clean up our gear then, and uh, yeah, we'll move down there a little bit, or even just up on the hill or something. I think if we leave, I don't think we're gonna get back. I don't think we're getting back on either. No, I think. Um, I mean, he, he's a good dude, but he has bosses. I think they're gonna secure the perimeter. Um, they're not gonna let us back. Just, just, just talking straight. I mean, it is what it is. So, as you guys heard, and as it's been, uh, you know, requested by the uh, local sheriff, we are going to clear all of our gear out of here. We're going to clear out for the evening, and you know, Sam has some hesitation whether we're going to actually make our way back on. So, we'll do everything we can to keep you as as involved in the story as we can. So, whether we show you, you know, tomorrow out at the edge of the road, or we're here and we're actually a part of it, and we can, you know, share more of the car recovery. 
don't go anywhere because we are not done yet. Do me a favor also, you know, if you're liking this episode and the episodes we put together, we could not be doing this without you. So please do us a favor, hit that subscribe button, turn on the bell notification, like, comment, share. It really helps us out and that's because of you, the viewers, that have already done that. That's what has put us in this position to be out here to help families like this. So thank you very much. Please help us out. Packed up, leaving for the night, and on that note, fingers crossed, we do make it back in tomorrow, Sam. Patrol for you. Good, how are you? Good, good. Good. Hey, could you guys go back to the road for me? Per Aaron? Per uh, the chief deputy. That, that's what I was instructed per my supervisor. So uh, <clears throat> I don't know where we're at with that right now, okay. but somebody might be out there to talk to you too. Yeah, okay? yeah nobody's out there so, right now. But yeah, no, 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 but no. I, I can let somebody know, okay? Yeah, yeah, no, I appreciate you doing your job, so I, I get it. So yeah, well, okay. No blame on you. you. Can you do that for me? 100%. Okay, thank yeah, you yeah. so much. Yeah, I'm not here to fight with you. No, yeah. you're good. All right. Well, fellas, I don't think they're gonna let us back home. No, I don't think so either. Nope. So, we'll just have to tell our story when uh, yeah. he's coming out. <laughs> Somebody smelled breakfast. Huh. Yeah, it's at that time. Good morning, sir. How are you? You guys are out here early, so. Yeah. Cool morning for this, isn't it? Yeah. So. Sheriff was just in here. Uh, incredible guy. Again, great to work with. Would love to have us participate. We still might be participating in a bit with what's going on, whether we're topside rigging, whether we're actually diving and we're doing some additional video work. Because here's, here's what has been, that everybody knows, is that Sam and I, we are the professionals in this. We've done this more than any, any dive team in the state and their dive team knows this, they know that, but they still have the you know, the proper protocols as to who can touch this at what mm -hmm. time. And so we've, we're standing by to offer up our services and we'll kind of see where it goes from there. Come on in. Come on in, Come on in guys. This is Joel, he's just our, he's our emergency management director. So. Joel, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Yeah. Morning, sir. Nice to meet you. Okay. So anyway, hey, Greg, how are you? Oh, still, yes. kind of, uh, still kind of the original plan. They're just getting set up. They're going to get their boat out there, kind of, you know, mark it out and everything else. So we'll kind of play that by year. We're still, okay. you know, might have you swimming again. So that'd be good. Perfect. All right. Yeah, it's an easy pull. I yeah, mean, yeah, if there was yeah, anything that, you know, amateurs, you know, can do, it's this one. Very good. I never said anything like that. But, so, <laughs> anyway. Just kidding. I'm sure you guys have proper training. You, If you watch any of my stuff, I joke around a lot and I appreciate everything you guys are doing. We'll get back with you here in half hour, 45 minutes about what uh, what the plan is. But... Well then, I think there's still hope that we might be able to uh, participate. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, sounds like it. They definitely want to bring us in. So they're, I mean, they're great guys. So if anything, you know, it would come down to their hands being tied elsewhere, not on their decision. Yeah. Uh, they've not yet pulled the vehicle out. They're going to be pulling it out soon. Yeah. And, right. but in roughly 20 minutes, he'll come get us. So you can let us come in and yeah. do documents with us. Sounds good. So that's really nice of him. Yeah.
Yep, if you'll okay. mark the time. Thank I've you. got all their names. Thank you. <clears throat> Perfect, thank you. Thank you. Yep. What do you see? Yeah, so right now we have the dive team standing by. Looks like they already have the jetter rigged. The tow operator just gave the signal to give it a pull. So as soon as he gets out of the way, he should start. In fact, he's tensioning the line right now. So any moment that car should just start coming right back up. You can see the windshield is missing. Um, you can't see into the car from here. So I don't have a visual on whether or not there's someone in there, um, but we should know here really soon. Right now they're stopping. I think they're, they're checking right now to see if he's in there. Uh, we should know real soon by their body language. In fact, the way this guy is standing here in the black, he looks super hesitant. They're, uh, they're snapping pictures, they're coming in. Um, as far as my being around this type of stuff, there's somebody in there just by everyone's body language what's going on now. He's in the back seat. So. Yeah. Maps to the family, so. Right. Thank you again, guys. Yes, sir. Yep. Thanks. Thank you. <sighs> yeah, so that confirms my body language theory. In the end, it's been confirmed that there are human remains inside. We are under the belief that this is Ethan at this time? Correct. Yeah. Okay. Uh, on that, we really do want to say, you know, a big thank you to you and your department. You, know, you guys have been really amazing to work with, to include us, uh, you know, in yeah. on the story. No. And to, you know, not kick us out when we came to you and said, you know, we'd like to search this pond and, and not just be like, we search that pond, don't, you know, don't step right. in there. You've been very open. I appreciate I appreciate what you guys do. I appreciate you guys sticking with the cause. You know what I mean? Because when it comes to this kind of investigation, you can become uh, exhausted with, you know, because like I said, it's been search. This is the first place we went. Yeah. Um, so thank you for sticking with it and thank you for giving the family closure. Uh, that's a hard message to deliver, you know, but gives them closure because just a car wouldn't have given much peace, but you know, we hope that this is Ethan and gives closure to the case. So appreciate you guys as well. And so in addition to thanking the sheriff, we want to thank each and every one of you for being here. Without you, the viewers, and without the tips, telling us where these cold cases are, telling us to go back to some of these cold cases, we would have never found Ethan and this county would not have had closure. So thank you to each one of you. If you've not done so, please do subscribe. Help us spread the message of what it is we do. And uh, we'll be back for the next one. Thanks again. Bye-bye.